Our story today is called Birds, Winged and Feathered Animals, and it's written by Susan Slade, and it's illustrated by Kristen Kest. So in our lesson, good readers are going to hear and discuss part of a nonfiction book. We're going to explore text features in the book, and we're going to wonder about the topic. Home sweet home. Birds live in different habitats all around the world. Many birds, such as colorful macaws and parrots, live in warm, sunny places. The hot, dry desert is home to the singing cactus wren. Large roadrunners also love to sprint, and sprint means to run fast, to sprint across the desert sand at speeds of about 17 miles per hour. And they're showing you the cactus run in the Roadrunner. Perching and water birds. Robins, cardinals, and other perching birds live in woodlands and gardens. These birds have four strong toes that grip branches tightly. A perching bird does not fall off a branch when it sleeps because its toes keep squeezing as it snoozes. And they're showing you cardinals and robins. Water birds live near lakes, rivers, and oceans. Most are graceful swimmers as well as strong flyers. Ducks, swans, and geese use their webbed feet to paddle on the water. Storks and flamingos have long stick-like legs. They wade in shallow water in search for food. And they're showing you a wood duck, a mallard duck, and a flamingo. And in the bottom it says, water birds have oil on their feathers to keep them dry. These waterproof feathers also help water birds stay warm. So I want you to pause and think about what did you learn about birds' habitats or places where they live? And then come back to the video when you're ready to listen to the rest. Hungry birds. Birds that hunt and kill other animals for food are called predators. Eagles and owls are predators. They have good eyesight and sharp claws to catch their prey. Vultures and other scavenger birds eat dead animals. Scavengers use their sense of smell to find food. And they're showing you the golden eagle. Many birds, such as peacocks and chickens, eat seeds and fruit. Some birds dine on insects and worms. And it's showing you on the bottom, it says, birds use their hard beaks to crack open seeds and nuts. They can't chew their food because they don't have teeth. Instead, birds swallow their food whole. And I want you to think about what have you learned about how birds eat? And you can talk about that or you can record your answer in Class Dojo. Flightless birds. All birds have wings, but not all birds can fly. Flightless birds have other ways of getting around. With their short legs, penguins waddle slowly across surfaces. In water, their wings work like flippers to help them swim fast. And they're showing you an illustration of an emperor penguin. Ostriches and emus have long, strong legs for running. An ostrich can run as fast as 43 miles per hour. And they're showing you a picture of an ostrich. And down below it says, the dodo bird once lived on the island of Mauritius, but it was extinct by 1681. It had a chubby gray body and short legs. Although it had wings, it didn't use them to fly. It is known for its funny name and hooked beak. Strange birds. Swifts spend most of their lives in the air. They eat, mate, and even sleep while flying. Bee eaters have an unusual diet. They often munch on bees and wasps. And they're showing you a picture of the bee eater and the swift bird. 
Hummingbirds are amazing flyers. They can hover in one place and fly backward. And they're showing you the picture of the hummingbird. And then down below it says, birds called cuckoos are not crazy, but they are pushy. Many cuckoos lay eggs in other birds' nests. Once the young cuckoos hatch, they shove the other young birds out of the nest. 